Timberline Trail is a 42-mile hiking trail around Mount Hood that alternates above and below the Timberline. It shares 11 miles with the Pacific Crest Trail. In the hiking world, it is known as one of the best hikes in the U.S., but also known for its many and often hazardous river and stream crossings. I hiked some of the trail a year ago and was in awe of its beauty. This year, I had a chance to go back and hike the full loop with a great bunch of longtime running companions. We chose to make it a four-day, three-night trip starting at the famous Timberline Lodge. This is the story of our epic hike. I'm going to have to get one of these for home. This is fantastic. Look at this. You press, you press OK and you get two pancakes. All right, well, here we are, government camp, Best Western. Today we're starting to hike. Good morning, Kurt. Got Tim. Good morning, got, Kurt. Got morning, Terry. Tim. And uh, we got a we got a great story to tell shortly. You know, we're, this this is the crew that did things right and made it here on time, <laughs> right? Right. We're not scrambling yeah. last minute, putting everything together. We, we should have we should have three more in our party, but they're yeah. they're not here right now. I don't want to talk trash yet. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till we get We're going to let them tell the story. You know, the hint. It's going to come rolling in at about yeah. five minutes all disheveled. <laughs> so we got here, uh, what time, about 2 o'clock yesterday? Yeah, about, yeah, about yeah. 2 Yeah, they were supposed to get here about the same time, but somebody missed their flight out of Cleveland. <clears throat> yeah, so they had to take a, a later flight and uh, pretty much drive through the night, fly through the night, and uh, I think, that what, what time did they arrive, do you think, Jerry? 2 a.m. 2 a.m., yeah, yeah, and it's it's uh, 7 o'clock right now, we're having breakfast, it's a great little, great, great breakfast here. So we'll let them tell the story shortly, and we'll get back to you. Wait, 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 wait. Tell, tell me about the fastest mile, Tim. Yeah. This is Tim, oh, Tim's here. I went at, I went at uh, about half the time. Yeah. This year, I went by a lot, actually, 60 to 65 miles. Oh, that's cool. This is at the fly, in the Flying Pig Marathon? Flying Pig Marathon, so I slow down at the, at the, at the 25.2, they have a mat. So I get to the mat, I'm running my marathon, kind of slow down, stop, loosen up, and then I fucking take off. <laughs> you hit the gun like it's a race. I did, they used to give you a trophy, now they give you this cheap-ass shirt. So you got that oh t-shirt, and this is the 25-mile mark of a 26-mile mar mar marathon. So the last mile of his marathon. They take the difference between the finish and that, and you're good. All for, all for the t-shirt. Cool. Okay, it's all a right. Neat little novelty. Well, I got a shirt, but I used to get a uh, like a porcelain pig on a plaque, and it had fastest last mile. I had the age before. Yeah. So I had them all lined up, and then this shirt, I had to spend like four or five years. I hadn't won it. <laughs> this year, I said, "You'll be getting your shirt in the mail." And I go, "What shirt? I don't want that yeah. pig." I had them lined up. Like How little... many streakers are left? Uh, I think we lost ten or twelve in one year. That's uh, a lot. From twenty-five to twenty-six, we lost like. Well, so so this is the the streaker is your consecutive flying pig marathons. Yeah. So remember it was stuck at 100, and then it dropped to like 95, and then when it got to 25, it dropped by like 10 or 12. Wow. So now we're down to low 70s. Wow, no kidding. Put the weights in on top of them. Right. All right. So despite all the headaches, plane missed planes, we made it to start. Here we are at the it's Timberline Lodge parking oh, lot. Oh. Trains, planes, and automobiles. Everybody should have all their gear. Have a record to start. <laughs> Beautiful weather. It's not a cloud in the sky. It's probably 70. I'm saying. Yeah, Tim, yeah. Tim, in full disclosure, yeah. when we heard you missed your flight, we blamed oh, yeah. it on you. I know you, you did. I, <laughs> was I told you. They're blaming you. If I was a bet man, I would have yeah. done the same. <laughs> so our crew is, we got Alex over there. I'd say we got about 10%. We got Frank. We got there a little earlier. Yeah. Got Tim C. Got Jerry. Morning. And Tim H. And of course we got me, which I never get on the camera. <laughs> yeah. We'll get yeah. you. I'll, I'll but so will you guys squeeze in? We'll we'll take a picture and then we'll get uh, we'll take another one with me in it. So, and then we'll be off on the trail. Alright, so we're two and a half miles in, and uh, 
beautiful view here. I think this is Zigzag Canyon, but I'm not sure. It might be the next one. In any case, beautiful view of Mount Hood. Everybody's settled in, feeling good now, right? But he's feeling great. Just getting warmed up. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. This, this trail just does not disappoint at all. It's just... It, you, get, you get, like, everything on it. This is one of the ones that I read about. Yeah. And uh, I was looking forward to seeing it. And as, as we were coming out of the woods, I knew where we were. Yeah. 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 Gorgeous. This is nothing. I mean, even the Grand Canyon, I felt like, okay, you got about eight foot wide. Just don't get delirious, state of the wall, right? Yeah. Uh, the Grand Canyon, yeah. That's why I wanted to see bright angels. Wow. I gotta say, <laughs> this does not disappoint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is just about yeah, as yeah, yeah, we're, as you could expect. Yeah, we're just getting started. All right, our next stop will be the Paradise Trail Junction. Okay. Put the poles in your right hand. Both both poles in your right hand. Go as far as you can, then plant the poles in the water. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Go as far as you can. Uh, All right, All right, that works too. Yeah. So once I got there, I reached with the poles on my right hand and planted them. There you go. All right, like a pro. Bonus. Nice job, Frank. That was a bitch getting through there. Yeah. Longer here than it was before. This was the way to go. You trying to kill me? Yeah. This, this is the, this is one of the easier ones. Oh my god! I thought I snapped the tip of my pole. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it, by the way. These carbon poles. You get them caught before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Torque them a yeah. little, like yeah. there. They crack. Yeah. How do you get it? Yeah, I try to find something sandy to stick those poles in. Try and avoid putting them between rocks. Oh. You guys did great. Great. All right, so what do you think? What, what do you think? Oh, really? Watch out, there's a runner here. Thank you. What do you think of the Paradise Loop so far? This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. All right. That oxygen, Kurt, you're supposed to bring the oxygen. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> we swapped out the bear canister for yeah. the oxygen. How far are we? Are we halfway through it yet? Yeah, we're about halfway up. Yeah, yeah. That was a good half. half yeah. So we're we're we detoured to the Paradise Loop uh, to see the Alpine Meadow and the Dr. Seuss flowers, which are a favorite of mine. So yeah. we'll get to those real soon. But we uh, kind of dips down in a saddle and we go up again. But then there's this this valley of these purple flowers which that last these last year was incredible hopefully they'll be about the same this year and you'll you'll be amazed that's a very poetic name you for it the valley of the purple flowers. yeah yeah you know what they're called i don't know what they're called no i think they're called the we need a we need a flowers. botanist on the trip okay yeah. all right here's the dr seuss flowers Gotta love these things.
over here at a lunch stop, 6.348 miles I got. What all you guys got for lunch there? You, what, what's, what's the sandwich you got there, Frank? This is um, mixed seed, like a peanut butter, but no peanuts. But it's just made with mixed seeds. Uh, I sprinkled granola on it. I mean, spread it on the bread, sprinkled granola on it, uh, drizzle a little honey on it, and cut it in half and stack the sandwich. It's like oh, fascinating there. Back. Look at that. Yeah. All right. And then, how about That's you, Tim? Calories. What do you got, Tim? There. I've got. Remember last trip. All right, you your sriracha or something? I've got <laughs> wild caught pink salmon and yeah. everything bagel seasoning. Okay. Everything yeah. bagel seasoning. Yeah, that's, that was a killer. Oh my god, that's hilarious. When, when I saw that, I said I gotta get it. And Tim, I think you got the P and J, right? Peanut butter and jelly. And yeah. It's gone and it was awesome. And Alex, you're cooking something there, right? You're, uh... I'm making a Greek salad. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Greek salad. Lentils and mushrooms and spinach. You know. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, the man's eating good, and he brought, brought a chair. Oh, the sauce is coming out. Yeah. And then, Jerry, you got like you got like the steakums over there or something like that. <laughs> yeah. He's at the grocery store. He spent like 10 minutes in the deli section yesterday. <laughs> Remember steakums in the 80s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they still make those? I don't know. I used to, back then, oh, I like ate them, but I had You just eat them, you put them on the skillet? No, yeah, put them All right, so we're... We're about halfway through the Paradise Loop, and I think this is the same spot that Church and I camped last year. It was right here. They were great. Yeah. All right, we'll eat our lunch. All right, this is the Sandy River Canyon. I don't know if they call it zigzag. I don't think the, I think the previous one was zigzag, but that's yeah, definitely the Sandy River. Bruce Lee was a distance runner. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Bruce Lee on uh, some extremely yeah. effective speed with, with an edge, running with an edge. Bruce Lee after a case of Red Bull. So we'll go down this canyon, cross the river, and that's a more challenging crossing than the one we just did. So. Is the trail over there? Uh, Can we go back up? No, that's not definitely not the trail. We'll be, we'll be down there. Yeah. Yeah. No asses on the trail? So pretty yeah, fascinating. This is evidently a trail camera. Yeah. Kind of camouflaged them. here. Horses, mules, or asses. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Kind of, kind of. It was hard to see, really, when you walk yeah. by. Fascinating. All right. All right, so we made it to uh, the falls. Yeah, this is it. Beautiful. Got a nice picture of us all on the bridge. What do you think, Sam? Impressive? Pretty impressive. Again, yeah, I can imagine it when this is in early spring. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when this is the waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You might not see all the little... No, I don't think you're going to see any of the rocks. Yeah, the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Like a couple of customers. Yeah. 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 The falls and everything. I bet mean, it sprays out a mile. Oh. And yeah, that spring yeah. off. I like to get up here and see that. Now the glaciers let go and come down this way. Yeah. All right, so we passed Ramona Falls, just below the falls. We're going to camp here. We found a nice spot. It's the same spot that Chris and I were at last year. 11.9 for the day. How do we hold up, Tim? Good. Not too bad. I got a little shoulder issue on my right shoulder, so I'm like super. I just need I just need about 10 hours of sleep. Yeah, okay. yeah, I hear you. Uh, yeah, first time since we did Laurel, so I'll be good. Yeah, all right. I'm good, and I got a nice spot here. Yeah, and, and how we do, Frank, today? Hey, hey that was great. great. Uh -huh. We had a good time. It's, uh, it looks like a great camping spot, too. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Alex, good day for you? All right. How do we feel today, Jerry? Good. Yeah. Good. Enjoy. Nice day. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Hear you. You, were, you were jamming that descent. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you got the nice sound of water to sleep to with tonight.
white noise, right? Yeah. All right, cook some dinner. And uh, those potato chips held up okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The contraption, I'm not sure how I did that, but pins and needles <laughs> and duct tape. It what works. What would yeah. you do without them? Hmm? Yeah, it works. All right. I think it's part of the food. We're getting there. What do you got for dinner over there, uh, Tim? Yes, I got beef stroganoff with noodles, savory cream sauce with mushrooms and onions. Nice. And Frank, you're using the, uh, the old school style stove. Yeah, right solid fuel. Yeah. It's got a couple of advantages that I like. It's It's got some disadvantages. It doesn't get as hot, doesn't cook as fast, but transportable in an airplane, which is nice. You don't have to buy canisters wherever you arrive. You can take it with you. You always know how much fuel you've got. Yeah, if yeah. Your planes, if they don't board you on your plane, do you get there? A little planes? more successful this time, Tim. I think it's boiling. It's boiling? Yeah, because oh, it's yeah. leaking over. That couldn't happen. Right, so that's the same problem again. Yeah, no, I'm going to ask you. Not the barrel over there. No. Soft, right? Yeah, there you go. Let's see, let's see if I can keep this from being... Oh, you already, you already put hot water in there. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, and it's, uh, now I gotta stir it. How about you, Jerry? You sat with your meal there? I am. I've got a Thai curry thing, and then I just mixed up some juicy mashed potatoes. They don't go together, they're just too... Yeah, the, the mashed potatoes, that's a really good way to top, top things off. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. just extra calories. Well, we made it through the night. It is morning. I'm worried about that thunderstorm, uh, the rain and the thunderstorm last night. Yeah, we had some lightning and thunder, uh, just a sprinkle of rain, though. It yeah, really didn't get... Yeah, and we're. I woke up once because I saw some flashes. Yeah, yeah, like, oh. yeah. We're pretty sheltered with these trees too, so I think. Yeah. So we're gonna cook some oatmeal, and uh, it's uh, seven o'clock right now. Tents all packed away. Oatmeal? Yeah, oatmeal. All right, we'll have some breakfast and uh, get back to you. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. Two yep. Welcome to the good part of town. <laughs> yeah. This is the more quiet. This is yeah. The, uh, this, is, this, is, this, the this is the heights. Uh, yeah. the heights. We heard some water last night, but it was almost therapeutic. Yeah, yeah. Therapeutic. yeah. I had to get my ass up in the middle of the night and go get my uh, my brain oh, covered. Oh, oh, and my yeah. bag was wet. Oh, yeah. So I brought my bag into the vestibule. I, I thought about you when I heard the thunder. Like Tim's probably not set up for rain. I'm not set up for rain. Actually, I thought of him because I had his mind was on, but I didn't pull it over and attach it. So I had to get up and put it on. And I thought of you when I looked at your tent. You had that big open tent. I'm like, oh, but I, I see magic. And when I saw the, when I felt the raindrops on the tent, I knew I had to get my ass out of there. Yeah. You grabbed your bag too. I got my bag, put in the vestibule. That was wet. That was kind of a more exposed area by that bridge. Yeah, I got my bag. There's nothing in it. My bag is out. I had to bring it back. Yeah. Dodge the bullet. Do you sleep well? Uh, other than that, it was about 2 o'clock, maybe. Is it yeah, it's probably about that. Yeah, it's about good. 2, yeah. yeah. I've slept better than a lot of you guys. <laughs> no, I slept, yeah. I, I, I did really well. Yeah, I, yeah. But they pay. All right, so for today's hike, we're we're right here at Ramona Falls. We're gonna hike down, um, cross muddy river, muddy creek, get back on the Pacific Crest Trail, and then we gotta worry about this junction here because we wanna take the timber line this way, but we don't wanna come back here because that's the closed section. And that will take us back to the start, so we don't wanna miss that junction. Follow the timber line, and we're gonna end up. Oh, yeah, exactly. all around here do it in the of the month. and Instead end up at uh, Elk Cove is where we're going to camp stuff. tonight yeah. and that should be about uh, 11 miles. That's the plan for today. If at some point these guys will get their gear together and get out of here. <laughs> we were supposed to leave seven minutes ago, is that right? Kirk? Yeah, yeah, eight o'clock is the target time. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're retired, sometimes you don't get up till eight. <laughs> Then I gotta put a tent away. Yeah, these guys are all on retirement schedule here. You're 
expectations we, are pretty rough. Every, yeah. every Saturday morning we were supposed to run. We have to run, leave at 7. Yeah, you, that's 7.01. You, you, you get there at 6.59. Six, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you can hear Tim's car in the window. I start especially. honking. Sometimes I'm honking down the highway. <laughs> Don't leave without me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Muddy Creek or River up to the top where the PCT crosses the Timberline Trail. So this is the Timberline Trail, I believe, that is closed, that um, goes back to Ramona Falls, that no one hikes because of blowdowns from the uh, storm and yeah, Memorial Day of 2020, I guess, right? Yeah. But uh, that was that was a tough it was two and a half miles, pretty much straight up, right? Anybody want really? potato chips? We yeah. Pushed, we pushed that climb. Yeah, we did not have uh, any breaks for two and a half miles all up. Beef jerky. Yeah, beef jerky and... Uh, Jerky's good. Tim's got the pita chips. What do I you got, got there? Pop, popcorners. Popcorners, Only all right. three ingredients. All right. Popcorn, salt, and oil. One of, one of them won't kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> all three together, it's, it neutralizes so it. So we were on the Pacific Crest Trail. This is the... We will leave the Pacific Crest Trail. That's it right yeah, there. It goes yeah, that way yeah. to Canada. And uh, Timberline this way. If it's handy, whenever. And we'll go this way. It wasn't bottoming while I was moving. That's when I sprayed it on. wasn't bottoming while I was moving, but... So... Frank, Jerry, and Alex are a little bit behind us. We'll take a break here and then head on. 4.4 miles in. And we get a double break because we pushed through and those guys yeah. didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although, though it doesn't sound that impressive because there were two male and female through hiker just blew by us oh like we were standing God. still. Yeah. What mile were they on? They're, 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 they're on their way to Canada, so they probably got 2,000 miles in already. Yeah, it was kind of shameful. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. So. Hiking, there's no change. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Well, maybe one of the best views so far. Look at that oh shot of Mount Hood there. We just uh, came up this climb and came out of the woods, and look at that. It did stop for about five minutes. I did. But I figure if you were anywhere near them, they were a long way behind us. Maybe not a mile. So there's your hill pickup. For I was moving. So we're like a few Thursday hills. So yeah. It looks like our group's down to four now. So Alex was having some knee trouble. Uh, so Frank decided to hike out with Alex at that last juncture. So I think our team's down to down to four, which is, which is a shame that they're going to miss out on this, but 
probably a smart move. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a smart move. We got, we're probably 17 miles in, 18 miles into a 42 mile loop. So that's the update. And uh, we'll keep pressing on to Elk Cove is our destination for today. All right. How long ago do you think this burn was? Uh, quite a while, I would think. Probably more than five years. Yeah. I wonder how long something like that will take to recover. How many decades? In the dark park? Yeah. I wonder if that was. Sure, look, that's a burn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right around the base of the tree, you can see. Look right there. That's, that's, yeah, that's charcoal. Burn. So this is one of the six shelters that's along the Timberline Trail, the original shelters when they built the trail supposedly. This one's still intact, kind of cool. And our location is uh, Eden Park here. The loop trail that you can take through this burn. So I think, as he said, it's a metal roof. Yeah, yeah, there's, but I think there's metal on top. Yeah, yeah. So we made it to Elk Cove. Uh, I got uh, wait here. I got 11.3. Let's see what this says. Yeah, 11, 11.29, 11.3 for the day. How many hours was that? Uh, just under eight hours. Good day. Yeah. Tiring, good day. We waited. We waited for about an hour, though. We had. We had the issue with uh, Alex hurting himself. Yeah. Hopefully they got off the trail. We found a pretty decent campsite here, right next to a little stream. We got, hopefully we'll squeeze in two tents here. And then uh, just on the other side of these trees, we got room for... Jerry and Tim. Uh, how do you do today, Tim? Good. I'm, uh, my feet are about four now. I gotta, I gotta cool them off. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing I'm doing, I'm be putting up the tent first. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we survived. That was, we did 30. I got 3,600 feet of elevation. It felt like it. It and felt like it was a lot. It was. It was mostly up. And my watch said I worked my ass off. So. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> They give me a lot of good yeah. points. All right. But these small ones. I'm gonna. Can you get yeah. through the water from here? It looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah, these are too small. I got that full thing of water. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go soak my feet. Heck, how'd you feel today, Tim? Good, actually. Good. We pressed it hard in the first half, and I think we took a little easy in the second yeah. half. But yeah. I have some water. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. But felt good. Okay. All right. I'm Tim, hungry now. Tim's but, pawning off his order. What is it? Popcorn? We're down, we're down to the wire. The bag wasn't holding up well. Okay. All right. So, I said we're getting rid of them. That's sure, it, right? I gave you some. I have to say, you guys you guys were beasts on those water crossings. The log crossing, is it look, you look great. You look I was, fearless. I was thinking when you guys were going across, what the hell happens if somebody falls? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right. You, I <laughs> guess you'd hope you'd just grab onto it, you know, grab onto the log, right? And just start climbing out. What about, were you, you nervous, Jerry? Yeah, I've been nervous yeah, a few yeah. times. I don't yeah. want to go in. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I tried to look as cool as possible, but yeah, uh, yeah falling in with actually, at that, I didn't care about looking cool. You know, I, I do mountain biking, and I'm terrible mountain biking, and, and in a sense, that's 100% what mountain biking is like. You're you're always on the edge, fearing like you're going to crash or go off the edge, but you just somehow you just stay focused and keep doing it. But it. you just hate it because yeah. it, <laughs> you you know what the consequence if you do fall. Did you ever have a crash mountain biking? You know, the first year I went mountain biking, every time I came, I came home bloody every time. No. If something, somehow I would fall and, and scrape something, but nothing serious. So, uh, yeah. So tomorrow uh, we we get to go to Cloud Caps. So that's the campground, and uh, we got Coal River Crossing. I think mm -hmm. is a tough one. Another tough one. <laughs> and I, I don't know. Elliot, I think, is the last day, but that's supposed to be a, a beast. So, uh, but it should be cool tomorrow going up uh, over the tree line. And right. yeah, so far I, it's just hundred percent phenomenal hike. Today's been nice, like coming up from the uh, coming up from the falls, which is probably close to our low point in elevation. Yeah, yeah, that's a low. We're down like two thousand feet down yeah, there. So yeah, you can yeah. tell you're like climbing through different terrain. Yeah, what yeah. did you have like thirty five hundred of climbing today? Uh, Tim, I had thirty eight. Thirty eight. That 36. sounds about right because we went from two to six. Yeah. yeah. And what's for dinner there? Mountain House beef lasagna. Right. That's a good one. That's the I think the second best so one. So I I alternated. I mean I was I had yeah. that actually had that to check out this year and I said nah. yeah this, sp this spaghetti is spaghetti right. It's good. Yeah. Don't no. get lasagna. The lasagna is a good one too though. Uh, yeah. Mountain House were lasagna. Left over from our last hike because I brought too yeah. much. I was so the last first hike I was they, so afraid of running out of food. They last like ten years. So <laughs> I had like two weeks worth of food for a three days. <laughs> where you pack your Bunker. You pack your bunker yeah, with yeah. this shit. Pa Patriot food supply, right? Yeah. I feel like realistically, it would be fine to be a little bit under, right? Like, if you're a little hungry, it's not good. I've been there, but most of my hikes are like that, and it, it's no fun that last day when you're hungry. Yeah, you're just... You like to have options. You just pack yeah. enough. Right? Yeah, so yeah, I've been there many times. Usually, that's that's where I'm at, but this looks like this trip, I'm going to have more food than I need. You extra stuff. So. I wonder, yeah, yeah, you have options when you get a little bit. Okay. All right, day three. And we had a good night's sleep. You guys slept, 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 slept all right? Great, great night. Yeah, yeah, nice little spot yeah. here. Got a little chilly. Don't forget to brush your teeth, guys. I brushed mine already. Took my uh, poop. <laughs> exactly. I'm still waiting for mine to work, the okay, coffee to I work its we match. Got, we got Coal River Crossing, and then I think we get to Cloud Cap, and then I think we got Elliot right after that. So those are the crossings. I think that's the order. Be, we got uh, 10 mile day, maybe? Big elevation day or no? Uh, we are going up. Yeah. 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 Not as much as yesterday? Yeah, and then not? not as much as yesterday. Yeah. And then I think we go, we descend to where we're going to camp. Yeah. Just past Lambert Butte. So that's the plan. Cool. It's kind of like Mario Brothers here. Well, while they're trying to figure this one out, I'm going to show you this beautiful scenery here. Although this was burnt, it's come back and it's beautiful. Just got military, you know, just hop over it. over pretty soon it's time for me to stop filming what are you struggling for uh, I, don't know. I know i got my fucking pill packs the, the pill i don't go anywhere without them okay yeah. here we go i do I have to reveal look, my look pills at, this is the bad look at the colors there i mean yeah. oh yeah i well you have to do them a different color so you know which yeah. ones if you had all the whites in one you're fucked yeah. tim was known for his <laughs> back belt so this is elk years. acetine l carnitin i'm gonna take one of those i don't even guys. know what that is okay this is a uh, uh chondritin Chondroitin? Oh, yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Glucosamine and Chondroitin. And then that's You can probably take a lot of those, Tim. And then, oh, let's take a fish oil. What the hell? What, what are the blue ones for, Tim? They, uh, I don't need those anymore. <laughs> since I've gone celibate. They're color coded. <laughs> pink, pink is this girly pill. He left the pink don't ones in Fish oil? <laughs> Wait, no. We're on the... We're on, are we on bag... <laughs> we're on the second bag? I got, yeah. I got um, three bags. Three first. bags. The, the pink one and I have know. separate colors, so you know which is which. This no is one like a hormone replacement. How do you think my liver is going to feel after yeah. all no this? No wonder your packs have. You got five pounds of pills. Who no, wants to compete don't, in the don't girl exaggerate. division for the hike across Mount Hood? Don't, is, don't exaggerate. When I tell you the story about See, being his handler pill? for the 100 mile championships, this is how we. Oh, you and there? Each lap handing out pills. Yes. After 50 miles, we oh, said, oh, we said, no. 
That's we just started answer. giving him the Smarties That's instead of the pills he was asking for. I was for, why we, I started to Yeah, we were worried you're going to start sweating green. <laughs> yeah, my liver was in he jeopardy. He was bleeding yeah. green. Yeah, so we were giving him Smarties instead of what he was asking for. He didn't know that. It was the placebo. <laughs> you got to do this on a full no stomach. Clue. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So I mean, that's like that's pills pill in the uh, sugary. medicine cabinet. <laughs> that chapter is going to be a pill box. Okay. I do have another little right. section. I'm not sure what the other section is though. He's a champ. It works for him. I mean, it it yeah. does. This you guy saw is. Me. I did good. I did good. He's. How old are you, Tim? I'll be 64 in a month. 60 going on wow. 40. I mean, the guy's got the heart of a 40 year old. Yeah. Right, so this is oh turmeric. Fuck me. I got to get turmeric. I forgot about another the one. All right. I I started, anti, I anti taking that. Uh, about two months ago, uh -huh. the anti-inflammatory. Uh -huh. well, I'm going to stop it here because this could go on for another ten I minutes. Yeah. Oh, oh, I have another. Yeah, it's coming down pretty hard right there. We'll go right across there. Uh -huh. Try something a little easier. So we're going to we're going to go. Looks like if we go upstream, it divides and it's a little easier. So we're going to climb up and cross up a upstream. We having fun yet? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, river and then the back up the climb we got a picnic table yeah it's like so yeah first time. yeah really a real yes. chair not a rock making some ramen noodles and uh, yeah. Yeah, no so just under six miles so far hopefully a trash can and uh, 
Over there is a vault toilet, so definitely uh, make use of that. Hopefully there's a water spigot somewhere around here. But if you know you had spikes in your shoes, you'd be yeah. Watch your footing; it's a little slippery when wet. All right. Very nice. Look at that view. That's a million-dollar view right there. Oh my God. This is one hell of a sled ride. Jerry, I saw that. All the way down there at about what, 90 miles an hour. It's just gotta be good at your turns. <laughs> yeah, don't miss any of the turns. Yeah. Or it, it could be the hardest rock you ever hit. Up here, on the mountain, these rocks here. So we're coming down, uh, the back side and this is the view this video may never make it on YouTube because <laughs> may not be able to put one together yeah but just in case I, you know, I have a lot of footage if you can if, you're, if you can do a Ted free yeah I'm optimistic that it's sitting there somebody, it's possible yeah possible. Somebody grabs we'll see it. if Rick comes through for us In any case, we're uh, nine and a half miles in. Another two and a half to go to get to where we want to camp. Stop is well deserved. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's a good sign when the trail the sign is pointing Timberline Lodge. That's always a good sign, right? And we're back in business. The uh, Rick Hiker Rick found my camera at Cloud Cap. Woo! Yeah. He texted me so. He's still gonna. He's spending a couple days hiking the loop, so he's gonna. He's gonna send it to me once he gets back home. So we're gonna get a video out. YouTube's yeah. Miracles do happen. All right. So we got we got a point nine mile left uh, to the camp, and then we'll, we'll pick you up there. So we'll be in camp soon. All this together, right? All right. We made it. To, what is this? Newton. Uh, Newton Creek. Newton Creek. Okay. Yeah. And we found a nice little uh, spot we can fit four tents in. Tim lost a slipper. Yeah, so not quite a, not quite a uh, recording device, but uh, a slipper, I'm gonna need it. Is this one that you, you try on before midnight or something like that? Uh, How's the story go? Go to the creek and then you know, I lost my sock, but I caught my sock. Then it turns into a pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 12, 12 and a quarter for the day. So it was a big day. It was a big, tough day. Places, you know? Right. What'd you think, Jerry? Hard day, huh? Yeah, that was a good one, though. That was yeah. the. Uh, I, I anticipated day three would be the biggest challenge. Yeah, I think it was. It was a little bit of everything in there. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the terrain up above the tree line was gorgeous. Yeah, it yeah. Was absolutely. You can't get that anywhere else. I thought those snow fields were treacherous. Yeah, they were a little, uh, a little dodgy. You don't want to slip on those. I leaned on the poles quite a bit. All right, we'll set up camp here. Sounds good. Yeah. Good. All right, so so you're not gonna give it to me, even though it's small feet and it's probably his, but I'll get it for him. When I don't someone have small says, feet. "Go on, you yeah. can go past me on the trail," what I say? You I, say thank you. Oh, you do that? Shit. You said, Shit. "Oh, I'm sorry, you have anxiety." <laughs> I think I've already said that actually. <laughs> sorry about that. I mean, you deserve no, a big hug. No, no, no hugging. I said I'm gonna get anxiety. Maybe that's what I meant. <laughs> Yeah, Did right. I say that? I think I might have. There you go. All right. Just right. say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. Tim learned his lesson. Very well. Okay. I might have talked about it. It's really good. Yes. Anything you guys want to add about today's uh, hike to our oh, million today, followers? Today was a grind. Epic day. Oh, it was, the, the, the terrain that we saw, you know, we crossed the glacier. You know, We're going over. The desert. The woodlands. We had the woodlands yeah. and we had that crossing. Two yeah. big river crossings. Two big oh, the river crossings. No. I was tired after It was like a desert. Yeah. Didn't we were like running through a desert almost? Yeah. Just deep sand. Deep sand. Yeah. And so, you know, we got glaciers. It was like a desert that one portion as we were coming up. And brutal and river. Rocky. Brutal river crossings. Yeah.
You guys did fantastic on all those, yeah. You know, I ask people about those river crossings. Oh, those were a breeze. Those were no big deal. I love doing those. Yeah. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Climbing down ropes. I'm not a risk taker, you know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is lose your concentration. Right. Or right. Slip. Yeah. And yeah. I never felt out at of risk. I mean, it was an adventure. I never felt like super scared, yeah. or uh, you know, like my life was in danger. But you know, you slip and. You'd be like a turtle. Your pack would go first. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I thought these river crossings they were harder to get down, but yeah. the, like the logs were very steady. Today they, they were. Yeah, it wasn't. I didn't feel like oh, I'm gonna yeah. slip off into the water. We had to pinch, uh, pinch them in for that. Yeah. That was a yeah. That what was, was the crossing with the rope? The one that was tied up with the ropes. Was today. Like, today. I know which one. Elliot. Which was Elliot, Elliot. Elliot that was today? Elliot. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. Think that was easy. Did you hear the story about Elliot? They used to have a bridge there. Okay. Did you hear that? So it was, he's, the guy over there was telling me he's done it before. It was, it was a <laughs> narrow, from one side to the other side of the creek, it was pretty narrow, and they had a bridge. I go, it doesn't sound really smart to have a bridge and with these glaciers throwing <laughs> shit down. Yeah, you think anything they build is going to get ripped apart yeah. sooner or later. He says, yep, well, that's what happened. Yeah. But anyway, there was a bridge, and it went right over to the, huh. right over to the trail. So he said, the, it blew it out, bridge is gone, trail's gone, and he said it made it very wide made it very wide it wasn't narrow anymore I mean, uh -huh. you could saw, how, saw how wide it was yeah, yeah. so even when we crossed we couldn't find the other side of the trail yeah yeah Remember? yeah yeah so he says uh so it's not on the map i said yeah we kind of figured it's not on the map well nice job today tomorrow i think we just got eight miles about to hike out mm -hmm. right yeah right. go through the, the ski area meadow should be pretty scenic with the wildflowers and uh and then it's a night at the timberline lodge to reality yeah. yeah that's gonna be a nice night should wrap up a good week yeah. all right all right it's so uh, it's it's, your... it's five minutes before eight eight is time we leave and tim's in rush mode because he knows we got to leave at eight I'm in anxiety mode. unlike every other day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i thought i thought for sure he was going to make it he has 10 down by seven <laughs> Yeah, it's seven of them i thought for sure go. he's going to be like quarter till he's going to be all set to go i think he still needs to purify water well that's that's coming late for yeah. four minutes <laughs> he's He's, yeah, he's going to count that in as on-trail time, I think. That'll be on-trail time. Anyway, so we got eight miles left. We're going to hike out right. real soon and uh, well, get back to Timberline Lodge and call this a trip real soon. Yeah. But eight miles is no joke. That's, that's a long day still. As Cam would say. Right, Jerry? Eight miles? It's no joke. Eight miles. 7.8 officially on the hiker guide. Yeah, Jerry's been, he's been our navigator. It's been great. It's been back up. Back yeah, up. Yeah. It's good to have two. Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> I make mistakes sometimes. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> So this is our last river crossing, the White River.
We got Tim Squares here. In the cross. Yeah. What? What? Yeah, no, stay dry. Stay dry. This is a tricky one. I got wet in this one. Yeah, you're probably gonna get wet. Rock, rock, rock. The three big ones. But you're gonna get wet. Yeah, at least one foot. I did it. Jerry did it. There you go, there you go. That's probably the best so far. Yeah. All right, good job, guys. All right, last push, we got 2.2 miles back to the lodge. We just had our little lunch break. This is a Strava segment, so who wants to go for the KOM? <laughs> <laughs> now we're just gonna enjoy it because uh, who wouldn't want to? Who would want to leave this place? Jeez, I I don't. Be nice. Yeah, we'll so. Probably within an hour or so, we'll be back uh, back at the lodge. And we'll pick you up right there to say goodbye. Right, Kurt, we did it. You did it! The Timberline Trail. 42 miles. We earned our keep for a couple of days. All right, nice job, man. Yeah. Thanks, partner. Well All done. Right. Oh, square one. Well done. Nice job, guys. Oh, I'm tired, but... That was a good tired. Nice finish. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful bridge coming up from here. You don't even know it's there. In fact, unfortunately, we're going to have to disqualify Tim for his uh, KOM because he dropped a bottle. He dropped, dropped equipment. Oh my God, he DQ'd. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's a penalty. That's a DQ penalty. That's a big penalty. Even equipment on the trail? Yeah. He's out. Yeah, yeah. So there's the lodge. We did it. We'll cut this and get a selfie of us. I know, I lost my bottle. <laughs> Thank you. I said, well, you know, I'm going to get lucky again. I was going back for it. I was, I was going back for it. You're here. This is, you're officially here. I mean, just down the stretch there. The bathroom's waiting for you, Kurt. I'll show you exactly what we did. Good. Oh, so the lift is working? They're taking them up and then they're coming down. This is it. You're, I mean, you're basically here. Hopefully I don't look like hell. It's something in life that you, we just earned. You know, you don't... Uh... I think you do one of these things, you like you really don't have any idea if you look like shit because you haven't seen a mirror. Oh, I know, yeah. And, and you know you're in trouble if you can smell yourself. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh boy. There's got to be some smells. Oh my god, yes. <sighs> oh boy. Oh boy. All right, we are done.